everybody, it's Tony George along with Sean Salisbury, host of the Sean Salisbury Show, iHeartRadio. Uh, be sure and get over there and check him out at Sean Unfiltered on Twitter. And before we get to today's baseball game, Sean, you picked up a new gig down there in the Houston market as well, doing some broadcasting. Tell us where you can find that at. At KPRC 9.50 a.m., it's uh, 8 to 10 p.m. Central Time, obviously, on the iHeart app. You can hear it as well as and the iHeart app's free, as well as uh, the podcast after, but I'm fortunate. I get to follow Jesse Kelly, who's hilarious and very, very good at his gig. And uh, so I'm excited. It's a new, it's a, it's a something I've always wanted to do, the venture into the news talk with politics and fun and all the things that go on. And, you know, maybe tonight we'll dive into Britney Spears not being able to handle her own money that, well, her and her old man are having a, a major struggle with that. So it's a little different, Tony. You know, with all the sports we do, I've wanted to venture into it. So yeah, 8 to 10 p.m. Central Time, Monday through Friday, and I just started last Monday, and I'm loving it. It's a, it's a different platform for me, but one that I've, I've wanted to do for a long time. Yeah, the one thing about talking politics, you're going to piss off 50% of the people 100% of the time, so that's always fun. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> guess what? Guess what? The, uh, it's none of my business uh, how people feel about me. It's uh, my, how yeah. I handle it, but... You know, I'm, I'm one thing I could say, not just politics, but in the news part of it and the cycle that changes every day. I'm pretty fair, Tony. I'm not one of those, oh my gosh, you know, I, I like good people. I want to be fair. And I love to see both sides to everything. But yeah. hey, hey we're, we're in the wrong business in sports, news, or whatever. And I obviously continue to do my morning drive show on sports, uh, on Sports Talk 790. But the truth of the matter is, if you're fair and give an opinion, I don't know, I mean, we're all going to differ. Um, but, the, you know, what is yeah. it changing every day? But I always like to be fair, and I'll be fair, but it'll be unfiltered. It's called Sean Unfiltered, and we'll get after it. And I'm not really worried about who's angry because my opinion is different than theirs. I'll just give them a thumbs up and tell them I love them, and we'll keep it moving. Exactly right. Some of the best people I know voted for Donald Trump. Some of the other best people I know voted for Joe Biden. So That's exactly right. Everybody's right. got their own opinion. Well, I tell you one thing about everybody's going to agree on one thing right now, and that is Jason DeGrom is the best pitcher of Major League Baseball, Sean, <laughs> right. bar none. Yeah, this we're not, guy. We're not, there's not going to be any <laughs> fighting over that, Tony. And I assure you, he ain't giving up 20 runs to the Atlanta Braves. I promise you. Wow. The over and under. If you had the over last night, folks, you were happy. 20 to 2. Atlanta. Um, one last night over the Mets. And guess what? Jason DeGrom is just what the doctor ordered for the Mets. And they're struggling offense here, Sean. The total in this game opened up at six and went up to seven. Now you've got the Mets laying about a 160-ish number here in bounce back mode tonight. Going up against Anderson from Atlanta, Sean. And the thing of it is, he's not a great pitcher. He's not a bad pitcher. But he's a solid right-hander, and New York struggles against right. New York struggles at the plate, period. But over the last ten games, they've only hit right-handers as two fifteen as a team. And yep. uh, then, of course, you know what Jason Degrom's going to do. This guy has a zero point five three WHIP, walks and hits per innings. That is this far into the season. That is almost unheard of. A zero point six nine ERA. Um, he's won all but two unders in the first five innings this year, folks. And one of the unders that didn't make it is because when DeGrom was up to bat in that game and bottom of the fifth inning, when they did lose the last one they uh, on the undershine, DeGrom, yep. DeGrom knocked in two by himself, bottom right. of the fifth, or we'd have had that one made. But, Sean, this has got underwritten all over it, under um, – these first, the other day I put out an under, and it was you know three is a kind of a tough number, but three yep. and a half that, that hook on the three is kind of like the hook on the three in the NFL, you Agreed. know, or the home underdog. If you're getting three and a half, I'll take the home underdog every time unless I buy it down because there's value in that number, and I think there's some value in that number on the half on the three for the first five innings under. But trust me, when I tell you. You know that New York, after getting it handed to them last night, is going to come out here with their ears pinned back, and there's nobody better on the hill to pin your ears back than Jason DeGrom. Yeah, if I wake up tomorrow morning and it said Jason DeGrom threw a no-hitter like in 92 pitches, it would not shock me, okay, the way it is. And Atlanta will swing and miss. Now, listen, the, 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 the Mets on one side, 
in the last couple of weeks are hitting like 202 as, as a team batting average. That's got to improve. Now, you yeah. know, Power and Pete Alonzo, we know they can do it. Atlanta hits right-handers pretty well, but we're dealing with a guy who dresses in a phone booth. This is a whole different cat that you're dealing with in Jacob yeah. DeGrom. And he is, he's better at his, like, I, 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 maybe I've stated this before, but he's better at what he does to the next guy in the competition, the Max Scherzers of the world or the Garrett Coles. Then Mike Trout is at his, and that's saying something because Trout's dominant. That's how good DeGrom is at his position. And he's a – obviously, he'll, he, that fastball is going to touch upper 90s, close to 100, but he's also got a, a nasty curveball. And while Atlanta hits fastballs well, his out pitch can be the curveball. I, I expect a, a stellar performance from DeGrom. I expect the Mets, Mets to bounce back. They may score some runs, but I don't think they're going to come in bunches. I think this is a low score – and that, that number went up. I'm going the other way with it. I think DeGrom, if he gets into the seventh inning. Now, Atlanta starting pitching in bullpen, Tony, you've mentioned this about them in the past. It's been a, they're going to have to start ramping it up if they want to be a playoff team. They've yeah. been disappointing this year. Usually. Um, I like I, – there's no question. I, I'm, I like the under in this because coming off an embarrassment from 20 runs to come back to this – uh, things happen, and you're throwing the best pitcher in Major League Baseball without a doubt. And I think that Atlanta's going to have trouble carving out a run or two, and if the Mets can hang two or three on them, I think it's that type of score, not only in the first five, but in the end. I'm taking the under in this one, and I think DeGrom, and if he's going good, look out. Atlanta's going to have a lot of trips back to the dugout without making contact. Yeah, not only would I say what he's done so far this year is not only he's the best pitcher in baseball, he's the best pitcher in baseball I've seen in the last five years. Agreed. Right now, right now what he's playing, this guy's this guy's a shoe-in for the Cy Young. He's unhittable. He knows what his team just got embarrassed last night, something terrible. I mean, that's anytime you give up 12 runs in baseball, you got your you got your tail between your legs. Imagine giving up 20. They're ready. To, they're they're going to come in here tonight. He's going to want to shut them down. I think the Mets have better bats. I I'm not buying the fact, Sean, that they should be laying a buck sixty five here, based on coming yeah, off I that agree. loss. Even and that number is bolstered by the fact that Jason Degrom's on the hill. But it's not going to be an easy game. It's going to be a low scoring game. I'm going first five. I think that hook on the three is crucial. I'll take under three and a half first five innings. Seven for the game is going to be close, but this thing's got 3-1 written all over it somewhere. Yeah, and with Jacob DeGrom on the mound, Tony, to validate what you're saying, I will not be surprised if when this thing's over, not only on your the first five, but in the end, if we're looking at the runs and the category where DeGrom, that if there's a big goose egg and if all the runs come, don't be shocked if the most if most or all the runs aren't coming from the Mets side, like I said, you got to carve him out. Trying to hit him is like if you and I were out in the middle of the ocean deep sea fishing and you dropped a penny in it and a week later we decided we wanted to go back and find it 100 feet deep and see if we could find the penny you dropped, uh, yeah. slim. That's about what it's like to hit uh, Jacob DeGrom when he's going great. When he's going good, he's still damn near unhittable uh, and he rarely pitches average. So I wouldn't imagine the, if the Braves come out of this with three runs tonight and DeGrom's pitching, they ought to crawl 10 miles over broken glass for that. I like both. I like yours and I like mine. There you go, folks. And, of course, Sean, if you and I were out in the middle of the ocean looking for something, it'd be a cold beer and a mermaid. That'd be about it. And a, and a big-ass marlin, right, somewhere. <laughs> well, and if it's not the ocean, to Jamaica, we'll go there. We'll go somewhere where I can find me a marlin. Or if not, we'll pop on that boat and I'll go get me a kingfish or something while we're drinking beer. If not, even if there's no fish grabbing, then you and I will drink that cold beer and just enjoy the ocean, brother. I'm in. There you go, folks. He's Sean Salisbury, Sean Salisbury Show, and also Sean Unfiltered, both over there at iHeartRadio as he continues to expand his repertoire in broadcasting. Be sure and check me out over at DocSports.com. Have a great Thursday.